Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. Your study of, of love in your book, it, it, it's really profound because in order to facilitate the, the brotherly love that, that's there, it requires a community, right? And it, it's more than one person. And I, I feel like, okay, Eros, we got that. Okay, you can find a partner. That's what Tinder is for, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> You get you get that. that that's like the lowest hanging fruit. But then yeah. you need like an operating system or a framework to have the community there. And that is a role that churches have long held that, you know, veterans of foreign war or, you know, the the various you know societies that were where people would go to do that or, you know, heck, knitting circles, for lack of a better yes. better word. Yes. And a lot of that has just evaporated and gone away. And and I'm I'm kind of hopeful that that having a profound lack of that for a brief period during the pandemic is going to make people come out and say, you know what, um, I'm going to go, whether it's join a church or just join a, a civic uh, community thing, I'm going to go regularly and get to know the people there, even if I don't know them that well. I mean, you yeah. have that when you're in college, you have that when you're in high school, it, it's built in and then you, they toss you out in the real world, you get a partner and it's all about Eros and you know maybe some community at work. But uh, I'm I'm definitely seeing now that I'm a little older and wiser, you know, the the wisdom of having uh, churches in communities or just any of those organized multi generational things right. out there. Do you think I, do you think it's going to happen when when we finally kind of come out of lockdown and people are going to be more civic minded just because they they got to fill up their brotherly love cups? I I hope so. I, okay. I you know I, I think it we'll might we'll get there. I hope yeah. so because I think. Like I said, I know I need, I mean, I, yeah, it's, I mean, I feel it in myself. Um, and I hear other, I'm having conversations with people about it. It's, it's, there is, um, we are not disembodied spirits. We are embodied spirit. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? We are body and soul, so to speak, all mixed up together. I mean, that, that that's, and 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 somehow we need both to be whole. Um, and this has been an experience of the absence of the ways of community that we were used to. Um, and finding alternatives, trying to be creative. I mean, I've, I've you know told church folk, I said, look, if you hide, stay in touch with each other. Stay in touch. It's the building block. It's maybe only be the first building block, but it's the building block of human community. It's the one thing we can do. We may not get to the higher rungs of human community, but stay in touch. If you're high tech, Zoom. If you're low tech, text. If you're no text, call. But 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 whatever it is, stay in touch. Keep that human contact. Don't let anybody be alone. Don't let anybody. I mean, there's wisdom in the Jewish tradition that when someone dies, someone always sits with the body. See, that's telling us something. That's ancient wisdom. Ancient folk figured something out. Nobody's supposed to be alone. Yeah. No, it is not good that the human one be alone. That That's God talking in the Bible. It's not, I didn't make y'all for that. I made you to be together. I hope as whenever this ends or evolve slowly ends, however it Ends with not a bang, but a whimper, I suppose. Um, I, I hope that there will be a re-energizing and a re-engaging um, of human community um, uh, on some deeper levels, because we have had an experience of it not working when we don't have that. Profound words, uh, and I, I, I really, I think, I think we will experience that. That, that's what I'm, I'm reading here. There, there's a yearning that yeah. was, it was too quiet to hear because we were too busy, and now that everyone's at home yeah. and not driving around and doing all that, that it's, it's, it's coming out, and and it'll be a different, I mean, a, a different situation. I, I don't know what's going to look like, but I think we are going to see a lot more people spending a little bit more quality time with people they don't know that well. Yeah. And that, so